Hello YouTube, you over here, and I'm here with Enterprise E. Hello. And we're today we're checking out his station. What is it called? It's just Starbase One. Starbase One. <laughs> it's shiny in here. Hmm. That was intentional. Ah, oh, okay. Is it so I can uh, you know blend in with the walls? Pardon? Is it so I can blend in with the walls? Maybe. Although, okay, right. the only skin I can see for you at the moment is the um, basic one, like the original one. Then your view sucks. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just down here, just follow the lifts all the way down. I'll show you that mini NXO one on the way back up. So, yeah, here's the... We're technically at the very top section of the dry dock I was talking to you about. So if you go down here, you'll be able to access the USS Sovereign directly. Oh, that's a lot of doors. Sovereign. Yeah, we're inside oh, I mean, it now. Oh. Okay. This is the Sovereign. If you want a better idea of just where the, in the Sovereign this is, come this way. Graphical glitches everywhere. Hmm. But how's that for a good bit of parking? I, I could not tell. Until you told me. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking full advantage of the docking area ignore on the server. Uh, Otherwise this would never work. So literally I can just walk from the station straight into the USS Sovereign without even t changing gravity or anything. Well that's, that's definitely helpful. Yeah I mean how many people would actually have a ship that would do that? Five. So I can just I mean, I've never seen people do this before, to be honest. Okay, neither have I, but... okay. <laughs> mm, right, I'll take you back in, up into the station itself. On the way up, you'll see the Mini NX-01 that I've got docked inside. Which has also been reviewed, but I believe by um, one of the review sessions where Raven took over. That, that looks cool, looking at it this way. Oh, come back! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two more of them in this station. Don't buy so many. They were in the Enterprise G, but I'm going to dismantle that in the near future. There's a basic factory level here. I have no idea how to set up factories. It's not too bad. Right, I just need to remember. Yeah, you know, I'll just go through all of these so you can see the kind of views you can get. But yeah, this room, for example, there's going to be eight rooms exactly like this. I'm going to turn into offices of some sort. But look at the kind of view you can get from here. You see that, that two, two mini NX ones over there. Yeah, we can see two of those NX01 minis right there. Is there any way to make them even smaller? I don't think so. Not with that kind of detail I've managed to get in there. Uh. Yeah, and over here you can also see the um, Nova class, which has been reviewed by Tamino a little while back. So many links I have to find. <laughs> Even this one's been reviewed. This little tra repair transport. So that's got a load of little mini um, repair shuttles. Because you know, in the um, Sovereign hangar bay, we saw a yellow shuttle in the middle. Yeah. That there are ten of them in that little ship down there. Aren't those called uh, worker bees? That's the, the one. Yellow things. Yeah. And there you can see the Delta Fly, which is the first ship I ever reviewed here on one of the um, lineup sessions. It kind of looks like it has like a uh, red cannon on the top. Yeah, that's the repair beams, so Astro Technicians. Okay. Right, I'll and I'll take you to one of the other ones for the like, the one on the other side of the room because you can actually see the other two ships that I've got docked in here. But as you most likely saw, there was there's four big doors to the station, which are the uh, four ways in. There's actual the doors there. It, well, it's not an actual plex door; it's just the big entrance that I oh. have ready for it. Because actually putting a big plex door there, it's more lag than it's worth. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, but here you can see yet another two ships which have been reviewed by Tamino. I feel as if I can just like reach through the glass and reach it. Yeah. But you get a nicer view from up higher in the station. 
and over here you see the Surak, which um, cast accidentally um, moved a little bit. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. There's even one other ship over here. Little mini Miranda class. I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> but the view from here is quite good, isn't it? That is. Right, you, I'll you take you up to the very top right now. here that made out of glass. Mm, I'm considering changing some of the floor for glass, just to make it look nicer. Right, the only thing to show you now is right at the top of the station, because the next level up is exactly the same as this. That sounds exciting. Yeah, I'm going to have eight of the um, offices. Right, don't worry about the plex doors right ahead, right above us. The lift will push us straight through them. Magic lift and magicalness. Don't yeah, me. but I did that so people go AFK when they're on the way up. It, they won't go all the way down and have to come all the way back up again. So that's kind of like a uh, AFK box? To a degree. Now, this is what the bit you? I'm really happy about. It's meant to be like a little holographic representation of the whole station. Showing uh -huh. where ships are parked, for example. Can I, can I see my uh, game button on this? No, because I haven't added things like that in. Oh, it's no. just for the bigger ships that I'm keeping pretty much exactly where they are. It's in this, like, like, you see are... these two little white lights here, for example? Yeah. If you look, compare those to the two mini NX-01s out there. Position-wise, that's pretty much identical, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Or the, bit, the ones that are red, like right here. Compare that to the ship you see out here. I feel like this middle one here should be like a uh, blue light. I'm just trying to match it to the ship. Because the ship is... Oh yeah, I see what you mean, but the majority of the ship is red. So I thought, yeah, it's already red. Red. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so this is what the station should look like when it's done. Vaguely. Very vaguely. Yeah, because it's still quite highly work in progress. Hopefully, there's it's good. not really a lot else to show, to be honest. Also, got the outside of the station. Apart from that, I can easily get it. If you want to grab your camber, I'll grab one of my little shuttlecraft. Alright, I got my camber. <laughs> Where are you? What the? Hi. How the hell did you get that so quick? <laughs> the same way I turn other people into cam bots. Hmm. I'll just I'll have to manually go all the way to the bottom of the station. How long did this uh, so far take you to build? Um, it's a long time. I don't even know exactly how long it's taken, but I have had a little bit of help. From? Kyle helped me out a little bit earlier today with some of the um, outer edging of it. So you can see here how the ships go in and out quite easily. I don't think. I think the only ship I have right now that can fit through that is the Cambot. <laughs> it's not designed for massive ships. Yeah, I can tell. But ships like the ones that are in there right now, it's perfect for them. But also, if now if a friend of mine wants to bring a smallish ship, they're welcome to go in there any time. Well, pretty much anyone on the server is welcome to come, as long as they're not enemies or annoying. And well, and with the Sovereign, it's quite a view, seeing it just flying out of this dry dock. Wanna show it off? Yeah, all I will say, though, is br 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 uh, be ready for a bit of lag. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. How's your frame rate doing? Oh. Um. 30? It should be increasing now. What's that uh, white thing at the bottom of that? What, the, at the very back? Yeah. That's meant to be like, to act like a tractor beam kind of area, so if people dock on there I can just tow them along. Okay. I have actually tested it out and it works really well. Okay. 
let's just say Legway was in a certain location he needed the lift, so well, I helped him out. Got him to dock his ship underneath this and I just towed him along. And his ship was about a half the mass of this. It didn't slow it down at all. Wow. But I kind of went a bit op over the top with the engines. That's what I did for my like full-sized... Uh, I forget what class it was. But it's like a full-size uh, ship. And I just filled the entire engines. Or in itself. Yeah, but this, the engines aren't solid. If you look inside the warp nacelles in build mode, you'll see what I mean. But this is stuff that Tamino has seen. Shiny. Yeah, but I've hidden a little system in there that Tamino knows about. A little system. Oh. Did you see that? Yep. Yeah, because you know in Star Trek when ships go faster than the speed of light, they've got a flash of light from their engines. Yeah. That's trying to simulate it a little bit, just to make it look like that. And also, any idiot who's parked right next to my engines and trying to be annoying, that's a way to bring him down a peg or two. Let's park next to an engine. Do you actually want to try it? Yes. Right, you ready? Get back here. Ready. And nothing really happened. Hmm. Game, but it's too big. <laughs> Maybe. Because it is just single blocks of um, pulsator in there. Yeah, so these are probably mainly used to uh, disable a ship. A little bit, yeah. Alright, well, uh, thank you, Enterprise, and showing me no your uh, station. No problem.